guys, and welcome to the first podcast. I hope you like it. And here are some topics we're going to get into today. It Chapter 2, Ghost Experiences, School, Work, and finally, Dogs. I have some stories about my dogs to tell you, so I hope you like it. So let's get into our first topic, It Chapter 2. Was it good? So, It Chapter 2 came out a couple weeks ago, and I think it was awesome. My stepdad, my dad, he thinks it's not good. Yeah, my friend Jaden said he liked it, but let's get into the story. So, the Losers Club comes back 27 years later to defeat it again, but not everybody comes back. Well, let me stop. If you have not seen It Chapter 2, do not proceed to listen to this part and skip ahead because I'm about to release big spoilers. Big spoilers. So, the Loser Club does not come back. Not all of them, anyway. But Pennywise terrorizes them as they were kids, as a denot. And so, this is going to be the sequel, and the sequel has some serious major points. It's really scary, makes you jump out of your seat. It's an awesome time to pl- watch with your grown kids and adults in your life. There are some major characters coming back to play in the sequel to it. The 2017 version was really awesome. I really liked it. Had a suspense. I liked the 80s theme, but I would like to see it in modern version. Like just in modern days, it chapter 1 and then it chapter 2 in the future like new tech and everything. But Back to IT Chapter 2. It was awesome. Liked it. I got a souvenir cup and drink. So let's go to our next subject. And we'll talk about that. Let's talk about my work. It's really awesome. I'm a busboy. But I have some stories to tell you. So I'm working one Sunday at breakfast. And um, this family comes in. They don't look weird. Nothing out of the major but then I turn to look and they're putting something in their purse so I was like I'm not gonna question it maybe they're just like putting a mint in their purse and then all of a sudden they get up and leave I go to bust their table and all the crayons are gone they stole the crayons why you could have stole a cup for all I care but why the crayons you knew were in short demand and then you're going to steal the crayons. But the crayons were returned. Because I got some new ones. Well, we got some new ones from the cup in the back. So, another story. So, at night, when we close up, there are these two women. If they don't come in in three days and you're, wo- you're working that night, they're probably going to come in really, really late. And they stay there until close. Literally, like, one time, we forgot they were in there. And we turned to look, and they were still in there. And we we locked them in. But we didn't turn off the lights, because we don't do that until later. But we still locked them in. And that's funny. And then, one last story to tell. I was busting one table one night. And there was ketchup and crayon all over the table. And how do you do that? Ketchup and crayon all over the table. And then I look under the table. There is a whole hot dog under the table. I know how you do that. But still, really, who does that to a table? Busting is like the worst job ever. Because if you don't do it right, the next person complains about it. So do your bus boying job right. The next subject in our podcast is school. So let's get into that. Hello guys, and let's get to the subject of school. I love school right now. Doesn't mean I'm going to hate it by marking period 4, but we have a special guest coming sooner or later, wherever he comes from. Jacob's going to join us later, and here he is now. Say, what's up, Jacob? Hi, guys. Um, School is pretty good for me. Um, Teacher's very mean to one of the the students and the very bad um well last year I 
was pretty good. And kindergarten, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this kid might be disruptive. We have a bunch of disruptive kids in high school. As same as elementary school. And tonight's open house. And hopefully we can um see some of those disruptive kids and make an example of them to my brother and show th him that's not the way to act. But when you're around your parents, you act different when you're at school. So... My favorite class so far is U.S. History. Jacob, what's your favorite class? Well, Jim. Well, Jim, because he's a meathead. What's your second favorite class? Mm, music. Yep, I have to say chorus is my second favorite class behind U.S. History, which U.S. History is an awesome thing to learn. <coughs> so, what's your favorite lunch? Well... You know those kind of Lunchables they have? Yes, I do. With, like, the peanut butter or, like, the goldfish and stuff, like, the cheese and the goldfish mm -hmm. and, like, all those kind of things. Yeah, I like our school lunches that have, like, the General Tso's chicken. That's delicious. And the pizza. So let's get into our next subject, ghosts. So on to our next subject, to ghosts. Are they real? Of course they are. Ghosts are real, and I have a firm belief of ghosts are real because I've had three experiences with ghosts, and I completely believe them, and I will not say they're not true because they are. So my first ghost experience was at Loretta Lynn's Ranch in Hurricane, Tennessee. Loretta Lynn is a country star that's made singles like Coal Miner's Daughter and This Haunted House, which we're going to talk about. So, then this song explains what kind of, how she feels about the ghost in her house. And I've watched specials and she accepts them into her house because she believes that they were there first. So she's not going to force them out or anything, but... They keep care of her and take care of her stuff. So, my personal, personal, personal. Oh, I'm getting a light breath because I'm scared. But, um, I had a personal experience walking there. I was walking into the living room and all of a sudden I felt a brush of cold air on my, like, in my face. And then I turned around look at the group and everybody was farther away so I turned back around and I feel a hand touch my shoulder at this point I'm freaking out I look back there is nobody everybody's in the other room so was it a ghost I think so but no one could be for sure and everybody thinks so. I'm gonna be crazy but our next so uh, our next haunted ghost experience was at my father's these the last two are actually at my father's the first one is i was sleeping on the couch at my dad's and because i really i like the tv there so i was walking in to the bathroom and i was watching impractical jokers and when their screen goes to commercials it turns a bright blue so i walk out of the bathroom i look over and there's a dark figure standing in front of the TV at my father's house. And then my last ghost experience at my father's house. This has to go back into some details. This place used to be a gas station. Well, it was crazy. Because I sleep next to the window sometimes at my dead father's house. And sometimes, if you really quiet, you can hear the pumping of gas. And the ringing of a bell. But you have to be really quiet, and it has to be like some nights. It doesn't happen every night. But that's my firm belief in ghost. Welcome to our last subject of the podcast. Dogs! I have had plenty of dogs. And one of my dogs' his name was Bubba. He was a chihuahua. And I remember recalling one time, he ran away from home. 
because we started the vacuum cleaner and then he just ran out the door. It was crazy. It took us three hours to find him and we found him stuck in the mud in a swamp and he was covered, covered in mud. And it was crazy. So now I have two dogs, Safira and Roxy. Roxy is a good dog, but she eats a lot. We feed her a lot, and she still acts hungry, so I don't know all about that. And my dog, Safira. If you've been on Facebook about the end of school last year and was on the Lost Pets website, you would have saw her because she ran away from home, and we couldn't find her anywhere. She was completely and utterly gone. We heard she was all the way in, like, this redneck row town thing, and she was, like, two hours away from home, so we had to go get her, and it was crazy. I can't believe she ran away. And um, Roxy has ran away once, but we called her real quick because she's dumb, and we can find our dogs because they don't go far. And then, well, I have a dog named Remington. We're only going to talk about him shortly. He ate everything. He ate my mom's hair dryer. He ate his dog house. He ate, he ate like, squeaky toys, and he ate the toy. Yeah, he ate everything that was in sight. And it wasn't like we fed him. We fed him a lot, and it still ate a lot. And that's just crazy to me that a dog can eat that much. I've been talking a lot, so I'm trying to breathe. But yeah, and my my I have been bitten by a dog. My mom's Chihuahua. She bit me once because I was walking too fast. I want to thank you for watching this podcast. Hopefully, there will be more. But this is the first one. It's took me a couple of days to edit and film and well not film record so thank you for watching subscribe down below hope you like this podcast and there will be more goodbye